And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC 26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. After highs in the 70s yesterday, we saw highs in the 60s to around 70 degrees today. Yes, a little bit cooler, but about 15 degrees above normal for this time of year. Cooler weather overall is going to be the weather story, though, as we move through the next seven days. We'll see lower 50s tomorrow for most, but there's going to be a wide range of temps, 40s near the Bay and Lake, lower 60s south and west of Lake Winnebago. We will warm up dramatically again on Tuesday, and then much cooler weather is going to work in. 50s on Wednesday. On Thursday, high temperatures will only be in the 40s. Right now, we are still looking at widespread 60s across northeast Wisconsin. It is currently 67 degrees in Wapaka. We've got 67 in Kiwani, and it's 67 degrees in Oconto. So it was a warm Easter, the warmest Easter in quite some time. In fact, last year we had highs in the 40s with some on and off rain showers, and it was also a white Easter. We had two inches of snow on the ground. You can see that as far as uh, Easter's are concerned, this was one of our warmer Easter's in recent memory, but not the warmest. That was back in 1977 when we had a high temperature of 79. Look at that. Back in uh, 1940, we had an Easter with a high temperature of only 21 degrees. Now this could go into the record books as our windiest Easter on record. Strong winds today out of the West sustained at around 20 to 30 miles per hour. But at times we've been looking at winds gusting between 40 and 50 miles per hour. It is 65 degrees right now in Green Bay with abundant sunshine. Just absolutely beautiful out there if you can handle the winds in Appleton. We've got a lot of sunshine. It is 64 with west and northwest winds at around 25 to 35 miles per hour. So lots of sunshine today after a wet Saturday and early Sunday. Here's a look at some of the rain totals from this weekend. Newton and St. Nazian's picking up over two inches of rain. We had over an inch and a half of rain in Oshkosh in Green Bay, just over an inch of rain, but that set a daily record for yesterday. Here's a look at Storm Shield radar showing that rain and thunderstorm activity diminishing during the morning hours. Since then, we've been looking at dry conditions across most of northeast Wisconsin. Having said that, we do have an area of scattered showers across the far north, and a couple of sprinkles or showers are possible here across northern Marinette County into Menominee County, Michigan, as we move through the next couple of hours. That activity is actually developing ahead of our next weather maker. It's a cold front that is now dropping south into northern Wisconsin. Ahead of that front, we're looking at 60s. Behind it, temperatures have dropped into the 30s and 40s, and that colder weather is going to be working south into the area as we head throughout the night into tomorrow because our winds are going to turn from the west to the north and east behind that cold front once it pushes through by tomorrow morning. So look at this temperature spread across the area tomorrow. As that front drops to the south, we're going to see a gusty northeast wind at times. That's going to keep it a lot cooler near the Bay and Lake. Meanwhile, south and west of Lake Winnebago, well away from the impacts of Lake Michigan, temperatures will get back up into the lower 60s. Skycast shows that we'll see some low clouds work in behind that front. Maybe a shower with the front as well. And then we'll see kind of a mixture of clouds and sunshine as we move into the afternoon. Fair skies tomorrow night, sun and clouds Tuesday morning. And then our next system will bring some showers and maybe a thunderstorm by Tuesday evening and Tuesday night. Out ahead of that system, winds turn back to the south and west, and that means we warm up again with highs getting into the 60s to around 70 degrees. And then we'll keep that chance for some on and off showers as we head through this upcoming work week. So your forecast for tonight calls for mostly clear skies, winds, really diminishing. Overnight lows will be in the 30s. Tomorrow, pockets of low clouds, maybe a shower, a wide range of temperatures. Most of us will be in the 50s, but it'll be 40s north and east of Green Bay, 60s south and west of Lake Winnebago. As we head into Tuesday, sun and clouds, windy and warmer, upper 60s. Chance for some showers, maybe a thunderstorm late behind that system, mostly cloudy. And then a bigger, stronger system moves through on Thursday with mainly rain, but I wouldn't be surprised if there was a little sleet or snow mixing in a especially north of Green Bay. Behind that, we'll see seasonable temperatures in the 50s with a mixture of sun and clouds for Friday, Saturday, and 